when the saints go marching in. Vox Fidei brings you into the inner life of the world made flesh. Father Chris guides us in the lives of the saints in Saintly Series. Welcome to the Saintly Series. Today, 10th of September, we celebrate St. Gregory the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. Born into a noble family in the year 540 AD, Gregory's father was a Roman patrician named Gordianus, a senator and prefect of Rome who owned large estates in Sicily, and a mansion in Rome on the Caelian Hill. His mother, Sylvia, and two of his aunts, Tassilia and Emiliana, later became saints. So, he was a saint among saints as he was raised by saints. The name Gregory means to be on the alert, to be watchful. Before the age of 30, Gregory became the prefect of Rome just as his father had been, and after five years, he quit the office to answer God's call. Following the death of his father and the constant invasion of Rome, his family relocated to Sicily. Gregory converted his family's mansion in Rome into a monastery dedicated to St. Andrew the Apostle. That monastery is today known as St. Gregorio Manio al Cielo. And Gregory lived there as a Benedictine monk, a period he always referred to then as the happiest moment of his life. He also founded about six other monasteries. Gregory was a well-educated young man who studied grammar, rhetoric, the sciences, literature, and law. He was ordained a deacon, and later, in 579 AD, he was appointed Papa legate to Constantinople. Here, he sought the emperor's support and the backing of the emperor to protect Italy from the attack of the Lombard tribe that was vigorously threatening Italy. Upon his return, he was elected abbot, the abbot of his monastery. After the death of Pope Pelagius II in 590 AD, Gregory who had been the Pope's chief advisor for years, was unanimously, popular acclamation, elected Pope at the age of 50, making him the first monk in history to be made Pope. Gregory it was who opened the door to medieval papacy as he exercised both spiritual and secular powers over Italy. Gregory wrote many works defending the faith and refuting heresies like the heresy Arianism, a false doctrine that taught about the second person of the Blessed Trinity being subordinate to the Father. He also refuted the Donatist heresy, which was then very popular in North Africa, a false teaching which held that the state of the priest or the sacred minister affects the validity of a sacrament or ministry. Gregory received generous donations from rich families of Rome, just as he has set the example in giving away his family's estate. Others too would do the same. The people gave as they believed that charity covers multitude of sin. He will say that the wealth of the church belongs to the poor. The church is only the steward of the poor. He strengthened respect for doctrine, he carried out liturgical reforms and organized different diplomatic relations. He ordered the priests to go out into the streets to look after the poor, and any priest who didn't obey that was withdrawn from the clerical states. He would dine and wine with a dozen of the poor every day, and as a result of his contributions to liturgy, and liturgical music and worship in general, he is referred to as the father of Christian worship. One of Gregory's outstanding contributions to the church is his great love for the missions. This made Gregory send the likes of St. Augustine of Canterbury, the likes of St. Paulinus of York, and even about 40 other monks 
to evangelize England, a mission that later turned out to be very fruitful. St. Gregory died at the age of 64, precisely on the 12th of March, 604 AD, and was buried in St. Peter's Basilica. The life of St. Gregory calls us to emulate his zeal to the service of God. He did not allow his wealth or the power he attained be cloud his love for God. We are encouraged to use our wealth, to use our talents in the service of God and humanity. Gregory was very bold also in confronting the situation of his time. The date of his canonization is pre-congregation. Gregory is the patron saint of musicians, singers, students, and teachers. The color of the day is white. What we offer the saints is veneration. God bless you. I am Father Chris, Vox Fidei. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in. Vox Fidei, God is in charge.